atlas maps. Patterns and distribution. An atlas contains maps at a variety of scales, but the most common ones are of the world, individual continents and individual countries. The maps in an atlas can be either physical, political or thematic. Physical maps show the landscape's natural features, such as the land's height above sea level. Physical maps use colour to represent different features. For example, high land is shown in brown, low land in green and water in blue. Political maps show country boundaries and sometimes large or capital cities. Different countries are shown in different colours to make them stand out. Capital cities might be shown with symbols such as a square or a different font. Thematic maps show information such as global biomes or levels of wealth, tectonic plates or, as in this case, calorie consumption. Different thematic maps can be used to find links between patterns, such as those between physical and human patterns. You will need to be able to recognise and describe the patterns shown by these maps at different scales. A pattern means there is some regularity or connection between features and their location. For example, population distribution and relief. If you want to describe the pattern, some of the terms you can use are clustered, when points on a map are concentrated into small groups, perhaps settlements. Linear, when features are spread out in lines, for example earthquakes. Radial, when features spread out from a central point, such as roads. Regular or even, when features are spread out evenly across the map. And if there is no clear pattern, use the term random. The term distribution is used more broadly to describe where things are. For example, as the map shows, deserts are distributed on the continents of North and South America, Africa, Asia and Oceania. They are found around 30 degrees north and south of the equator and towards the centre of continents. There may or may not also be a pattern you can comment on. In this case, hot deserts are in a linear pattern linked to latitude. Hot deserts are an example of physical features that are shown on maps. Other examples include rivers or volcanoes. In this example, we can see that volcanoes are distributed in a linear pattern, which is closely related to where the constructive and destructive plate margins are located. Human maps show a range of data linked to human patterns and processes. For example, they can be used to show population density, migration patterns and transport routes, such as this map of the UK rail network. Some maps show human features that are experienced rather than seen. Examples of this are poverty rates that we see here, life expectancy, and birth and death rates. Summary Atlas maps can show physical or human features or be thematic. They are used to present information at a variety of different scales, for example at a continental or national level. Atlas maps can be used to study the distribution of geographical features. Patterns in these maps can be described using terms such as clustered, linear, radial, regular or random.